you. A common cold takes a near deadly turn and tonight a 25 year old St. Charles man is in the hospital after collapsing Sunday evening. Good evening everyone. I'm Claire Kellett. I'm Courtney Bryant. It's a story you'll see only on News 4. Our Emma Hoag spent the day finding out what happened and Emma doctors say this is extremely rare. Well, and Courtney, it's also very hard to predict. Family members tell me it all started with minor congestion, but what they thought was simply a cold turned into a fight for his life. It had no warning. That's that's the scary part about it. Paige and Jake Anderson spent the last year waiting. He's been so excited. Waiting first for their wedding and now for the birth of their baby due in July. But for Paige, the last three days have felt like an eternity. <sighs> She and her mother-in-law are waiting in the hospital, wondering if her husband will survive. He had been fighting this cold for a couple of days, but it was cold. You don't, you don't think anything of it. Until she heard her husband collapse in the shower Sunday night. Anderson says she started CPR after calling 911. I could feel him going cold underneath my hands as I was pumping on his chest. Paramedics arrived and rushed Jake to St. Joseph Hospital in St. Charles. Anderson says her husband coded for 45 minutes. They had to put him in a medically induced coma to protect his brain and his organs. I didn't think he was going to survive. So what caused this common cold to take a near deadly turn? Doctors believe a rare viral infection invaded Jake's heart. Who would think that, you know, you go to shower to relieve some congestion and you would just your heart would just stop. Wednesday morning, he recognized his family's voices and moved his feet for the first time in three days. It's giving me something to grasp onto. <laughs> A sign of encouragement as she waits for her husband to come home. Whether we have a boy or a girl, they're going to be able to meet their daddy. Now, doctors want to stress how important it was for Jake's wife to perform CPR. Without it, they say a devastating amount of blood would have flowed to his brain. Because of that CPR, they do expect him to make a full recovery. Live in the studio, Emma Hogue, News 4. Also new